Hey, what's up you guys? It's Ilarian Garbuzov with you. Today we'll do the new Kegel competition dog breed identification. Determine the breed of a dog in an image. Let's talk about it. Psst, psst. Guys, give me a feedback. Push the like button, subscribe and give me a comment. What can I do for you next? First of all, we need to overview the competition. The name of the competition is Dog Breed Identification, determine the breed of a dog in an image. Who's a good dog? Who likes ear scratches? Well, it seems those fancy deep neural networks don't have all the answers. However, maybe they can answer that ubiquitous question we all ask when meeting a four-legged stranger. What kind of good pup is that? In uh, this playground competition you are provided a strictly canine subset of ImageNet in order to practice fine-grained image categorization. How? Well, you can tell uh, your Norfolk Terriers from your Norwich Terriers. With 120 breeds of dogs and a limited number of training images per class, you might find the problem more rough than you anticipated. Let's see the evolution metric. Submission are evaluated on multi-class log loss between the predicted probability and the observed target. And uh, here is a submission file. For each image in the test set, you must predict a probability for each of the different breeds. The file should contain a header and have the following format. So this is the format. Let's look uh, at the data. So you are provided with a training set and a test set of images of dogs. Uh, each image has a file name that is its unique ID. The data set comprises 120 breeds of dogs. The goal of the competition is to create a classifier capable of determining a dog's breed from a photo. The list of breeds is as follows. So here is the full list of breeds. So we have train uh, the training set. Uh, the test set, a sample submission file, and the breed for the images in the train set. So here is the test uh, set files, different puppies, uh, the train set with different puppies. Like you see, it can be mixed with other objects and subjects. So we have the uh, label CSV, it's a um, list of uh, unique values of images and uh, labels with puppies with the breeds, with the breed. So we've got 10,000 unique values, 10,222. And here is a sample submission file. So for all the breeds we need to give uh, for different test uh, files uh, test uh, for the test data set we need to give uh, probabilities so the main idea is that we use transfer learning with the uh, pre-trained keras model although kernel resources were increased recently we still cannot train useful cnns without gpu the original ImageNet set has quite a few different dark classes, so we can reuse CNNs with pre-trained ImageNet weights. Fortunately, prediction is much faster, making it possible to run meaningful experiments with Kaggle kernels. We would use a uh, magic Matplotlib inline, we would invert NumPy, Pandas, uh, Datetime, Matplotlib, uh, Matplotlib uh, ImageGrid, uh, OS, uh, list deer, make deers, auth path, uh, TQDM, uh, SKLM metrics like log loss, accuracy score, uh, and we uh, would use uh, Keras um, uh, models uh, from Keras preprocessing, we would import image and different uh, computer vision uh, models like VGG16, ResNet15, Exception, Inception. Uh, and uh, f uh, would import from the Keras applications uh, VGG16 we would import uh, preprocess input, decode predictions and uh, 
from Escalon linear model would invert logistic regression. So uh, we would use Keras pre-trained models data set. Kernels can't use network connection to download pre-trained Keras model weights. This data set helps you to apply your favorite pre-trained model in the Kaggle kernel environment. We have to copy the pre-trained models to the cache directory. So where Keras is looking for them. We would, uh, from here, we need to download the uh, Keras pre-trained models, uh, copy uh, them to the uh, cache directory, input Keras pre-trained models. And after that, we would uh, we uh, can use uh, these uh, models. So in the input directory, would uh, we have a label csv sample submission file and test and train um, uh, test and train path so we would use top 16 classes using all the images would take more than the one hour kernel limit so we would focus on the most frequent 16 breeds uh, our inputs are input size uh, 224 uh, number of classes 16 uh, we would use seed and uh, the data directory is input uh, breed identification labels uh, we would read labels with pandas read csv sample submission file uh, would read with pandas read csv uh, here we go we would take uh, the most frequent breeds 16 most frequent uh, uh, breeds and uh, we would split uh, train and validation data sets and uh, have a train and validation uh, labels. Uh, here is the function uh, we would read and recite an image. So the arguments is the image ID, uh, train or test. Uh, uh, recite the original image and in the returns image as the NumPy array so would, uh, we're using image load image from our data dir and uh, resize it so first of all we would use ResNet 50 uh, class prediction for example images so our model is uh, ResNet uh, with the weights from the image net and uh, here we plot um, our images our 16 images and see uh, the labels and uh, the labels from the resnet as the resnet 50 uh, plot show and uh, pre-processing and prediction seems to be working uh, and 75% accuracy on these uh, images. We have 75% uh, accuracy on these images. After that, uh, we uh, try to extract, uh, we will start to extract VGD uh, 16 bottleneck features. So from the images, we would uh, take the features and then load it to the logistic. A regression and here uh, we are pre-processing the uh, images for our VGG uh, so we got uh, X training and X validation and on that we would predict uh, train uh, VGG uh, bottleneck features on the train data set uh, and on the validation data set and after that we would use a lo uh, logistic regression uh, multinomial uh, with the LBFGS solver and uh, we can predict uh, probabilities with the logistic regression and uh, see the validation VGG log loss and uh, accuracy rate. Yeah, so not bad, uh, we've got more than 19 accuracy for the top 16 classes. 
the multi-class classification with 120 classes is more difficult so these log loss accuracy scores doesn't translate to leaderboard after that we can try exception bottleneck features just the same so we are pre-processing the images and make uh, exception bottleneck predictions and uh, on uh, these predictions we are uh, we can uh, predict uh, we can use log logistic regression uh, and uh, when uh, you would make this just the same uh, as uh, uh, we do we've got the logit uh, log loss point C, uh, point zero 0.06 and accuracy is 0.98 so it's a wonderful result uh, much better 98 accuracy uh, is very good uh, within 16 classes and uh, we used exception now we can uh, use inception uh, just the same preprocess uh, images got the features and uh, with these features make a logistic uh, feed the logistic regression uh, with our number of classes and uh, calculate uh, log loss and accuracy and here we go good results and we can uh, combine two models so just the same uh, and uh, use a logistic regression on all bottleneck features here we go we've got good results so we're using exception and inception so we can uh, use this on uh, the full number of classes uh, of the breeds but still uh, we've got errors so let's f uh, view a few of uh, misclassification errors and here we go so we can uh, find why we've got these errors and maybe make uh, um, and solve it so here it is the full kernel and uh, the full ideas of this kernel thank you see you tomorrow and I found this data set at Beluga it's a competitions grandmaster from Budapest so thank you Beluga for the kernel and your work